Stanford University. Our goal with this is to develop a low-cost system to measure water quality in San Francisco Bay. Specifically, we're looking at suspended sediment concentrations. Suspended sediments protect the coast against sea level rise, it absorbs pollutants, and it affects the light penetrating the bay, which controls how much phytoplankton can grow and really impacts the ecosystem. The basic question we want to know is, if you draw a line at Dumbarton Bridge, you want to say, how much sediment is going across that bridge? Is it net into the bay or is it net out of the bay? And it seems like a simple question, but we have no idea. The measurements are kind of expensive and difficult and getting boat time is a challenge. So we want to develop a, a low cost, easy to use system where you can go measure large areas of, of sediment concentration. And to do that, we're using a drone and um, a multi-spectral camera. And it takes off, flies at about 100 feet, and it'll go out across the bay and come back. And the whole time, it's taking pictures. It is a multi-spectral camera that's radiometrically calibrated, and we use that to get reflectance measurements in several wavelengths. We will algorithmically convert that into a turbidity or sediment estimate. Then you can essentially plot that, and you can see, well, here's what the concentration of sediment is across the bay at this point in time. One of our goals with this project is to combine our surface measurements with numerical models that will fill in the rest of the picture of what's happening underneath. So this is suspended sediment concentration, but you can use these drones to predict the waves on the surface of the distribution of waves. You can use the drone to predict the temperature field, and then you can also use the drone to predict the currents. We enjoy working in San Francisco Bay for several reasons. It's really a well-studied estuary, and there's lots of kind of ground truth data out there that we can validate our results with. And it is this incredible and critical ecosystem, and there's a lot of effort in the region to restore a lot of the marshes and habitats of South Bay, and we're happy to try to help contribute something towards that cause. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.